to get that space, of course. Mm. Oh, oh. Hold on the top left. I see you. Superman. All right. Get out of here, oh. though, with no clue. It ain't no leg day right now. It's still arms. Hello, and welcome to round two of the Multiverses Pro Player Showcase. I'm your host, the Purple Sharpie. Today, we have a matchup comprised of two established fighting game community competitors and content creators, paired with some of the strongest players inside of the technical test. Let's go ahead and get into it. Team one is comprised of Team Spooky, who will be using Shaggy, and Leviathan, who will be using Velma. Team two will be comprised of Apology Man, who will be using Tom and Jerry, and Brokir, who will be using Superman. Since we got a Superman in the mix today, let's get over to our Superman super fan, IFC Yipes, and co-commentator, Ajax. All right, it's time to get into that multiverses action. I'm, of course, Ajax, joined by the one and only IFC Yipes. And we're going to talk about the four players who are going to showcase some amazing gameplay here for multiverses today. Absolutely, man. This man needs no introduction. Spooky, the spookster, of course, all over at Team Spooky on his Twitch channel. Uh, uh, stream the legendary tournaments across the board for many years. I'll have to say like 15 plus even more to be honest, man I'm dusty. But anyway <laughs> uh, <laughs> Definitely been showcasing a lot of legendary stuff uh, from the FGC in general and known for being a great competitor too in his respectful game So I'm glad to see him here 100% we respect the foundation that was built before us the ground that we stand on today And part of that also comes from Leviathan his teammate one of the best players we have seen from the playtest he has showcased so many incredible combos so many incredible plays that we're gonna get everybody to see today and they're going with the theme team we got velma and shaggy to start things off but on the other side of it you got brokir and apology man of course you know a little something about apology man yeah so apology man you know the greatest meme walking on earth which is crazy <laughs> he likes eating uh warm milk with cereal this guy's a weirdo but what's not weird is his gameplay even though he does play a lot of the oddball characters of course but that's what makes beneath beneath and of course that is apology man so it's good to see him here and of course been in uh, multiple top eights for evo and just won a ton of tournaments on his northern side in california and just everywhere in the world really so it's pretty cool to see him here as well and a champion in his own right, Brokir, the best Superman we have seen. I know you're ready to see this. You're going to be stealing all of the moves that he pulls off, all the tech. And we're going to be seeing that teamed up with Tom and Jerry. That team up is going to be very strong of a zoner-based character and a bruiser leading up with a good point control. A lot of armor, a lot of zoning going into this match. So one thing I, uh, I love about Brokir's uh, Superman is the uh, simple fact that I stole all his tech. So uh, <laughs> when, I, when I was actually playing this game and you guys were telling me, hey man, you need to use this guy's reference, I did and definitely showed me a lot. So I like the meta that he uses where he uses body armors with like uh, fo uh, forward attack, he holds it. And if you try to attack, he'll like weave and get a punish and stuff like that into a big mm -hmm. uh, combo. So I like the meta game behind the armor, uh, the armor behind his move. So pretty fire. Yeah, it's almost his own form of armor dashing the way he does it. Get it? Like, it doesn't start in the initial frames, but you're too scared to challenge that because Superman has armor on everything he's charging, and you got to hold that. And you might be holding that here as we start things off on the first game of Player Showcase number two. Let's see how Apology Man starts the zoning game off. He's putting that pressure on. You see a broke here over on the right trying to challenge it. But on the other side of the red team, they're going to zone a lot with Velma, and Shaggy's going to be taking that point there on the side of Spooky. Uh, what I what I love first and foremost, uh, before we even get to the gameplay, this just looks like a family barbecue to me. <laughs> so this is pretty dope that we get to see this. I can't wait for the offline side of things as well. So I'm pretty excited for this. Look at the Superman. Yeah, we already got the ledge, of course. And Leviathan just fighting for his life over there. Meanwhile, Spooky coming to try to break it up. You always have to watch out for that giant beam that she has because she's able to get a weakness buff on you which increases your damage you take and also she could call the cops you gotta run away from that mr jenkins is currently on superman <laughs> now what it's gonna scoop you up it's gonna take you out <laughs> broke here did it right stalled away from that and did not get caught oh my god all right okay we get us some space here look at i like how they hold in both of these sides too but then it gets scrambly all of a sudden but i like that though oh. it, looks, it looks chaotic but trust me it makes sense Oh my I goodness. Promise you. Ooh, nice. Nice up attack. Get the hell out of my Get roofed. Yeah, amazing job right there. And when it comes to chaos, chaos controlled is Tom and Jerry. We're talking about the collateral damage. Look at the way Apology Man can challenge that. Going for the downer, going all the way up to catch the frying pans and take him out. And before you saw how he was in the middle of the entire fray, that's just what he could do. His hitboxes are great. Yikes, like, Blue Team's got a pretty solid start here. Oh yeah, all right. Listen, I'm a big fan of Brokia right now. I like how he knocked him up in the air and then went for the neutral attack just mm -hmm. to get some, uh, you know, pile some damage on the percentages just to get the easier knockdown, the knockout. 
And you see what he's doing a second ago. He was doing the, the down neutral attack into the jump cancel dare so he could keep that pressure going. And he has a projectile shield on him at the moment, but it's gone. Meanwhile, Spooky going off stage, but because Spooky went off stage to try and go challenge the Superman recovery, he got caught by the down air from Tom and Jerry. I should, oh, get scooped. Throw him in the oh, laundry oh, shoot. No. Yes, yes. Uh-huh. Down attack all day. I like that. What? What? Let's that was a game? That was the game. These are shared lives. They only have four lives in total. And the moment that they're gone, that's it. So that's why you have to be careful. You're trying to go off stage and help your teammate. You might get cooked for it. Let me talk about the family barbecue. They was cooking. And a big reason why was that offstage play. He was canceling off the wall. He kept going for downers over and over again. And even if you got by that, Apology Man sitting up top waiting for you. Listen, man. That First off, that was bars. Second... Uh, Spooky and uh, Leviathan, they got the Gluteus Maximus kick. They definitely need to raise that difficulty setting. That was pretty cool, though, man. You know, at first, I like how everybody just scrambles to just, grab that, uh, mm -hmm. just to get that high percentage, just to, just to assess the situation. You'll notice once they're high on the percentage, everything just slows down so you can actually catch the gameplay. So I see what's going on here. I see that everybody's a very popular pick, and everyone has the Frosty buff. That Frosty buff gives you access to slowing people down by hitting them with a projectile. When you have Tom and Jerry, you're using that triple dynamite perk to set that up so you can get more. And then what does Superman come, uh, get to do? Come in and drop the Frost Breath and get those stacks going quicker so people are moving slow. Same side on the other side too, but it's easier for the blue team to set it up. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me get. Let me get a little more locomotive charge. You know, I, I, me as playing as Superman, that's not like a move that you really get to see. Mm -hmm. But I like seeing people get duffed out. That's just. That's it, just me. That's it a is personal great. favorite. It, it's it's so it's good too when you have a zoner on your team like that. But so many. Deep, look how many debuffs are around this team. This would be good if you have a cleanse type archetype on your team. If you have seal Wonder Woman, but it doesn't matter because Brokeer is swinging. He was looking to take him off the top. Leviathan can't save Spooky right now. Spooky trying to get back down to ground. Yipes! <laughs> they, uh -huh. they're struggling. <laughs> Yeah, no, they're struggling, but I'm loving kal -El right now. He's getting pressed by Velma. We found the clues. Call the Popo -po police. Have him on speed dial. Get him off of me. That is the best thing that could happen to him. Because of the fact that the cop is going on to Superman, they can stall. If that was going on to Tom and Jerry, that means that they don't get the zone, and they get to 2v1 the Superman because Tom and Jerry's too busy trying to run away. Yo, not for nothing. I can't believe I'm commentating the platform right now. This <laughs> A platformer? Hello. Okay, let me see something spooky. I'm a big fan. You know I'm a big fan. Everybody that's watching this video is a big fan. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're almost getting roofed. Oh, Watch it. Oh, that's a lot of resources gone for Spooky. And he's gonna go. Oh, wow, he actually got underneath that. But meanwhile, Leviathan going in to save him using the up air's giant light bulb. She thinking. Mmm, we out of the frying pan. We cooking. This is a family barbecue. That's bars. I see you, Ajax. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, right now, mm. they're going to need a new recipe. They're going to need one fast, but they're, that can do it. Oh, the psychic didn't get the KO. That's a lot of resources gone, but because of the command grab, you snatch them up, you get back on safely. They look smooth, though, for the high percentage. They got that good health insurance for sure. Hey, you already know that's a little too expensive around these parts right here, and it's going to cost Velma off the top. It might cost Spooky too. Spooky running. He trying to evade taxes. He not trying to fight. <laughs> <laughs> you got to spend in order to keep your money, huh? Okay. All right. Oh, Ooh, get out of here. What? Incredible snipe. Using uh, using the beam to go ahead and catch him off the side. And the slow debuff coming in clutch there for uh, the red team over Superman. Because Superman wasn't able to fly in quick enough to actually punish with that uh, command grab he was looking for. Meanwhile, Apology Man has been stock tanking. He's at 144 running, but putting out so many hits that Velma really can't challenge him right now. Yipes. Bro, look at Leviathan's movement. This movement is just immaculate. Just avoiding all danger. Keeping that percentage nice and low. Definitely looking for those baits. I see the full season here. Yeah, that, oh my goodness. Sh Shaggy's normally so good at being able to challenge people with his high priority using his shield, especially when he has a rage. You can't do that in front of Superman. Superman always has a hitbox. This is a 2v1 opportunity though, but they backed off. You can't, this matters so much. This two to two can disappear so fast because everybody is getting near KO percent and they could find that KO real soon on Superman. Mm-mm. Oh, we in the scramble. Get up out of there. I see you, kal -El. Uh huh. Smoothments, indeed. The beams. I like the movement off of the beams. You know what's crazy? You can snipe with the beam and then actually go for a, a up attack, mm -hmm. which is pretty good. You got to catch it, though. Good snipe if you actually see the reset. Yeah, getting, uh, getting position for... Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, you putting out the dynamite there mattered so much because if Apology Man got caught by one of those forward airs or the up air, Spooky was waiting on the top to capitalize with the flying sidekick. Mm -mm. There's no buildings here, Superman. All air. He's he gonna tear it down. 
Oh, everybody aiming for Spooky. I would have done the same thing, man. Smart move there from Brokier. And Apology Man. Yeah, big time agree. Now, now uh, Apology Man at 108, but Leviathan at 122. Oh, if that was a lineup that uh, could have got some damage, but even then, Superman could scoop you off the top. So you have to be real careful with how jumpy happy you get up there right now. Leviathan almost going to go down. Stalls as much as he can. Spooky tries to get in the way. Leviathan did not have enough resources, and the blue team goes up two games. Yeah, lost all of his moves. Uh, had to wait for the cooldown for sure to come back in the match. You know, in the, in, the, in the heat of the battle sometimes, you know, from experience, I actually forget that my cooldown is down in terms of mm -hmm. using another jump or another move. I'm pretty much cooked. And then I'm thinking it's like my control. I'm looking at the control. Hey, what's wrong? But no, it's, I'm actually using all of my resources. So as a, good stuff they're trying to stretch it out. Unfortunately, as a Batman player, I know at all times when my resources are gone because he lets you know that the battering is not available right now. <laughs> but these are like... That it's a nice little sound cue, but for, for Superman, you need that. Like, you need to know, like, how many jumps you've used because you have so much good mobility, you want to chase someone off stage, but then you make a mistake. But Velma, she has such minimal vertical recovery, she has to go horizontal, and if you have Superman out there with you, you can't jump. You're gonna you're gonna get knocked out for that, so it, it's, it's so scary to get around. Yo, I cannot believe I'm seeing Tom and Jerry, bro, with Superman. <laughs> like, yo, not for nothing, so... You know, obviously, I played other platforms before, but like this is something that my uncles, my 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 yeah. grandfather, my father can actually relate to. This is actually sick, man. And they they're beefing on top of that. Yeah. Talk about lore. <laughs> yeah, they're not. They don't care about any of that. The, 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 there is no beef with anybody on the screen. They're not running the fade with anybody but themselves. The fact that you got hit is your own fault. <laughs> it's like, okay, listen, we're here. I don't know how we got here. I know we got beef, but listen, we're gonna have to team up. Mm -hmm. But if you hit me, I hit you. So Tom and Jerry, <laughs> classic. It's so, oh. uh, it's so funny. And you're right. The the just the accessibility, the love, the lore, of the characters, the in depth look at everything that they have. It's so beautiful. You got people of all ages wanting to play this, and there's good reason because they're in the middle of Bat Cave right now. Tom and Jerry is fighting Uncle Shagsworth. Velma's over there trying to find clues, and Superman is wondering what in the world is going on this entire time. He's been in enough crossover games with uh, with other ones dealing with this right now. He's getting cooked quite a bit man my man's flying low altitudes oh beams i like that uh-huh fast fall hey, too these gas control. prices are not cheap right now that was like a 70 dollars low flight that's, that's all i'm saying <laughs> that's oh get up attacked get up out of here gluteus maximus is getting kicked right here everybody's trying to get that space of course mm. We're holding the top left. I see you. All right. Get out of here, oh. No clue. It ain't no leg day right now. It's still arms. He's catching him all the way up the top and catching him with the strong command grab again. He's catching people so consistently because Apology Man keeps sending him up. And Red Team is down two games. They can't make any more mistakes. Mm -hmm. They prepared, but they're not prepared. Good God Almighty. You can, you can actually clearly see who the professionals are here. And that is Brokier and apology man but we ain't apologizing to nobody oh get up attack get up out of here let me go ahead and see through that real quick let me think real quick that up area is gonna take out superman they could take out apology man asap if they could go ahead and snipe him but that fishing pole all the way from the other side not letting velma get any zoning going velma's gotta get down superman coming through trying to fly through luckily both of them were out of the way yeah, I was just about to point that out about uh, Leviathan right now. He was definitely uh, catching some hang time, if you will, but definitely caught control, got back on the ground to play that neutral. Come here, Superman, where you going? There's no buildings here. There's no buildings, but you're all about the friendly sky, so it's cool. Uh-huh, uh-huh, off the stage. Yeah, that's healthy. Oh, there you that's go. Healthy. I can get him back in the game. Yeah, Spooky's only at 31. We got 87 on Leviathan, but they have one stock left. Snatch him up, send him to the top. Send the package, Shazam. And that is a 3-0. 3-0 and a handshake at that for the blue team over the red team listen man look shout out to the players but shout out to the voice actor just the fact that the man is saying victory <laughs> it just gives you a different vibe of, of, of letting you know that you won so but beautiful stuff man beautiful showcase i love what i saw yeah man you know when you get in the studio yet yeah, you of all people know when you get that energy going in the studio and you ask they ask you like yo get energized get amplified for this set you're having a good time but incredible set coming in there of course from the blue team taking it 3-0 Man, and that was a fire match between both teams, but you definitely saw who was the real victor here. And of course, that was Apology Man and Brokir. But let's see exactly how they got their dub with these replays. Most dangerous item on the menu is staring down Velma's up there when she's trying to make you eat it. Coming through there, catching the KO. But one thing is for sure, 
Prokeon does not waste a single second, closing out that stock immediately, getting the tempo back into favor of the team, and then the double down air. There was nowhere for Leviathan to go and go and helping him out. Taking a look at this again, he tried to dodge up after the second one, but it was waited out, and as soon as he tried to go for it, immediately covered. There was nothing he could do. I mean, the name of the game is Synergy, right? 2v2, and you definitely see this in the high display here from Apology Man and Brokeyard. It's all about sending them to the air, of course, with Tom and Jerry with that up attack, and of course, the finisher from Superman. That was definitely the name of the game. And of course, if we get you out of that ledge, you're in trouble with Superman, because his frequent flyer mouse is on 10. Absolutely. There's no buildings in sight, but you still see him throwing and whooping through the windows as it usually does. Look at that. Get up out of here, Shaggy. You're only human. Mm-mm-mm. Very, very nice. Look at that. Of course, always knocking them up in the end, and the finish was right there for Brokiev. Clean. Eyes all over the place. Thought process was insane. The team synergy was so good between Brokiev and Apology Man. We saw some really good adjustments from Leviathan and Spooky, of course, but let's go ahead and get some insight from all of them. Let's see exactly how they thought everything down, how they broke, all the, uh, broke down the entire matchup, and let's go ahead and get those interviews started right now with Sharpie. I'm here with Spooky, the fantastic Shagmeister inside the very last match. How are you doing today, Spooky? I'm well, thank you. How are you, Sharpie? I'm great, thanks for asking. Now, inside of that last set, you were playing Shaggy. What about that character made you want to play them? So, you know, they designed a character, I think, to be someone that's like simplistic. So someone that starts out, I'm not really someone that plays a lot of platform fighters. That's not really like my typical style. So I was drawn to him right away. Also, I was drawn to him because, you know, there were so many memes about this character. Everybody wanted to know about Ultra Instinct Shaggy. And of course, he has to power up. He has the outfit and all that stuff. So that definitely drew me to the character as well. How do you feel about the 2v2 team dynamic inside of Multiverses? So, I, I, like I said, platformers are not like my forte or not my strong suit. Uh, but I do think it's interesting that from the jump, uh, they've tried to implement something that makes us that you have a reason to work together. And uh, number one is the perks, where if you have certain perks, uh, the triple jump perk right now is a good example. That's one that's very popular, where it's both players get to have an extra jump just because you can do it. That one's really big. Uh, also, there's the, the major perks, and working together with those with your partner is a big deal. But also, you have uh, some moves that you can use that power up the other person. So, for example, Superman with his breath, not only can he attack the opponent or push them out of the way, but he also can power up like Batman's hands. And now Batman has ice hands, so come rock you with, you know, that type of thing. So I like that aspect a lot, too. Now, inside of the game, we saw uh, you go through a series of different perks, most notably, obviously, the third jump perk. Did you have any thought process behind that or any of the other perks that you and your teammate chose? I will say uh, that some of the debuff perks, uh, since perks stack some of them, you know, when you and your partner both have them, uh, some of the debuff perks look really interesting, especially the ice perks and the fire perks. I'm not sure how much that type of damage can really stack up over time, uh, but I would say that the status effects are not really something that I'm used to, like in a fighting game in, in general, right? So it's something that's very interesting. Are you excited to experiment with any different characters or team compositions or even any crazy debuffs inside of the game? Uh, maybe. I'm most interested in in the stages and how they're designed. You have a lot of stages like the tree house where it has a very unique way that you can bounce them off the tree. And maybe if you get them just the right angle, you might be able to go for like an early kill off the bottom, something like that. Uh, so those are the things that I would probably want to do the most research. And even considering things like, well, you know, if we have these perks and this stage comes up on the roulette, then we can make this happen. That's some of the stuff that I'm the most interested in. Now, Spooky, do you have any words for the fans who are eagerly anticipating the release of Multiverses? Uh, I would say that right now the game looks very exciting. It has a very cool platforming style. It has excellent movement. That That's one of the things that really drew me to it the most. And if you guys are excited, well, you know what? I was really excited once I got to play it. And I hope that you guys will enjoy it once it comes out. Thank you so much for your time today. And I'm so happy that you ultimately enjoyed the game. I hope you have a great day, Spooky. Take care, Sharpie. Have a good one. We are here today with Leviathan, the bringer of knowledge and the wielder of Velma. How are you doing today, Leviathan? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for being here. Inside of the last set, you were actually using Velma. What was the what was it about that character that made you pick them? Uh, Velma is very supportive of her team, and I feel like she's one of those characters with a lot of supportive things to kind of help the team get ahead and score KOs and ring outs very easily, uh, deciding on how you set up for it. What other characters are interesting to you? I believe that a lot of the mage characters, such as Rain Dog, Bugs Bunny, all have their interesting ways of uh, kind of playing around the field and uh, 
generally helping out their teammate. Now, uh, is that one of the reasons why you like the mages is because they're able to help out with their teammates the most? Yes, they uh, feel like they can pretty much deal with anything from most ranges. Now, Levi, can I call you Levi? Yeah, of course. Sure. <laughs> How do you feel about the 2v2 dynamic in multiverses? The twos feel pretty tight-knit. I feel like at all times uh, with my teammate, I have to either look at them or always rely on them because they have so many aspects of which they can assist me and so many aspects of which I can assist them. So every time that I feel like I'm uh, in disadvantage, I also have to check what advantage or what state of play my teammate is in. Speaking of teammates, you were teamed with Spooky, who was actually using Shaggy. What was the team synergy behind your character choices? A lot of it was that, you know, as Velma, I can kind of diss out a lot of damage, diss out a lot of uh, debuffs, etc. from about a further range from, you know, what Spooky can deal with or uh, Shaggy to be specific. And Shaggy, whenever he makes his way in, he gets his charge. He can pretty much KO, ring out my opponents or set up for kills pretty easily. Do you have any reason behind the perks that you and Spooky chose? Um, the Frost perk actually slows down my opponents, helping me, you know, kind of set up or play my bit of range without worrying about, you know, burst options or my opponent kind of, you know, showing out out of nowhere. Unfortunately, you and your teammate Spooky didn't win the set. What do you think that you and Spooky could have done differently to ultimately come out on top? I definitely felt like I should have took a little bit more uh, aggressive fights in most of the terms. Um, Spooky was, I need to make a lot of space for Spooky to do his thing as Shaggy, in which I feel like I uh, faltered in doing such. You had a chance to play the game, but there are many people who have not yet. Do you have any words for the fans who are eagerly awaiting their chance to play multiverses? This game is definitely its own type of gem. You should definitely try to piece it together or play it with a different state of mind because this game is so much fun if you look as it if you look at it as its own thing now leviathan thank you so much for your time today fantastic showing inside of this showcase and thank you so much for being here of course thanks for having me yet again Hello everybody, I'm here with Proke, one of the very talented players inside of the Multiverses Pro Player Showcase. Proke, for this set, you were playing Superman. What about that character made you pick them? Uh, first of all, hello. Thank you for having me. And nice job saying my name. Excellent. <laughs> um, Superman really appeals to me because he has, to me, the, the best freedom of movement. So I'm able to just kind of just go where I want to. I see somewhere I want to hit, I'm there in like less than a second, as long as you can master that. So that's what's really appealing to me about him. Now, Brock, how do you like the 2v2 dynamic in multiverses? The 2v2 is just some of the most well-designed that I've witnessed. Um, for instance, I mean, me and Apology Man were you know, talking about our strategies and stuff, but we were, we were able to follow up super well just, just uh, off of a Tom and Jerry attack into a Superman attack. All these characters have these synergies that you discover, like, oh, how I had no idea that Tom and Jerry frying pan into Superman up grab up air was so effective until you discover it. So that's what's really exciting about doubles too, is finding all the different combinations. Was there any other team synergy that went behind the thought for your team's characters? Uh, for the characters, not so much. I think we just picked who we liked. <laughs> But for like perks, we, we had some discussions on what, what the best perks were. Um, you know, Superman has ice breath. So if we get the frost projectile, we're going to be able to actually get freezes. So that worked out pretty well. Um, you know, just different strategies like, oh, and we're going to rush down Velma. We're going to use you to zone off a dynamite wall to prevent Shaggy coming in. We're going to beat up Velma, <laughs> right? So it, you consider all the tools. You can mix up some cool strategies like that. You all played so amazingly that last set. What do you think that you and Apology Man did better than your opponents in those matches? Honestly, I think a big strength of ours on our comp was the uh, isolating them at ledge. So every time someone was at ledge, I would kind of let Apology Man take the edge guarding situation. He'd spam the frying pan and I'd keep the other person off. Got so many, so many lives like that. 
So that was that was a really good combo. So Brock, how excited are you to experiment with different team compositions and different characters inside of the game? Oh, that's what I'm gonna do as soon as I'm able to, uh, <laughs> like right after this. I mean, that's that's one of the coolest things. Uh, they actually, uh, there's a new Shaggy move. I didn't see it used too often in the set, but um, the neutral B, whenever you're, uh, when you have rage, it'll teleport you to your nearest ally. So, so many cool combinations with that just opened up just for a simple move like that being added. So there's a lot of cool stuff that whenever you're playing, you're like, oh, I wonder how that would work with that. So are, I can take it then that you're relatively excited for the multiverses release. Oh, of course. Oh my gosh. Count the days. Count the days to the next open beta. Brock here. Thank you so much for your time today. Super great to have you and even better to watch you play. Really enjoyed it. Uh, appreciate it. Good talking. Thank you for having me again. Next up, we have Apology Man, who played Tom and Jerry inside of that last set. How are you doing today, Apology Man? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm having a lot of fun playing, uh, playing this game. Tom and Jerry, easily my favorite character. But yeah, I'm, I'm doing great, honestly. Now, I know you played the dynamic duo, Tom and Jerry, inside of these sets. Now, why did you choose Tom and Jerry? I mean, I always like uh, characters that just have like a ton of different, uh, just like a just depth in general, like they have so many different setups and like so many different like projectile like zoning patterns that you can do. Like you can throw Jerry over there and then like you can make the rocket go to him and you can like throw the dynamite at them. There, there's all this like fun stuff that you can do. And I feel like I barely like scratch the surface with the character. So like he he's definitely my, my favorite character of like the cast I've played so far. How do you like the 2v2 team dynamic inside of multiverses? So it was definitely weird at first to get used to. I'm uh, mostly mostly a fighting game player, so it's 1v1, right? So I definitely had, like, there's some growing pains with it, but a cool thing about it is like, it's really easy to like learn the game like with, with a friend as well. Like there's times I'm like, ah oh, man, I, I don't know like what I'm doing wrong. And like in a fighting game, you're just kind of like, well, I'll, I'll, I guess I'll review the VOD or like I'll, I'll think about something, right? But your teammate could be like, bro, you're just doing this. And like, I, I think that's, that's cool. Like I, I think that helped my improvement a lot for the game when I played it before. So yeah, no, I, I I like it, and the game is clearly designed for for the the doubles, uh, the team game format. How excited are you to further experiment with different characters and team compositions? I'm definitely interested in finding more team compositions for sure. I think that's definitely the thing that draws me the most, like finding the right perks and like finding the right ways to like counteract. Because all the characters in this game are so crazy, like. I think playing, it's pretty simple to like pick up the game and play the characters, but all the characters like abilities are insane. There's like so many crazy things you can do with them. So how they interact with them, each other is really, really interesting. But I don't know, for, for me, once again, I'm such a like character driven dude. Like if I find my character, like I'm, I'm, I'm set. And I like, I love Tom and Jerry. So like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be super excited for the, the full release of the game. Well, Apology Man, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations on your win. And I'm so happy that you were able to be here for our interview. You have a great rest of your day. You too. Thanks for having me. And that concludes our second presentation of the Multiverses Pro Player Showcase. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, the open beta is coming this July. Stay tuned and see you later.